Hi there. I've got a quick video for you today showing you the many different ways that you can measure something with a pair of calipers. Now I think uh, it's pretty obvious that you know you can measure on the outside here and this is uh, 1.001 inches. Um, you can measure on the inside of something with these jaws up here by my pinky so you can measure that so that's a 251 hole. Um, you've got this depth rod down at the bottom. That's also pretty obvious. I think most people know about that. Um, and of course you could use that to measure this this little step here. But this is a little bit shaky. Uh, this is really good for measuring the depths of uh, holes and things like that when you can bridge the gap between there and there. Um, but when you're measuring a step like this it's um, uh, it's a little bit treacherous. It wants to lean one way or the other. Um, so that's why we have the fourth method, which not many people seem to really know about, and that is the end of the jaws here. Um, these two jaws right here are actually ground together, and you can measure the step from that jaw to that jaw, um, just like this. And this is a lot more solid because you've got a large surface bearing against that step and it's uh, it's very easy to keep it straight. So right here my step is uh, 204 thousandths, 2305, uh, 2035. Um, so anyway, they're very versatile tools. Um, I will tell you though, when you're measuring on the inside, especially a, a small hole like this, you've got that little flat on the edges of the jaws there. Um, that tends to give you an erroneous reading. So um, if we actually stuck a 251 gauge pin in there, um, odds are it's actually a little bit loose um, because that flat is uh, causing it to measure a little smaller than, um, than what it really is. Anyway, I hope this helps and uh, I hope you'll all run out to your shops and start measuring all sorts of stuff with the end of the jaws. Have a good day. Bye.